welcome to the Nomadic Dreamer YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk about the topic of hitchhiking, but not just any topic, but how can I increase my chances of getting a ride faster? So yes, if you're a girl, okay, it's obvious that you may get a ride faster, but forget about that reason. We're going to talk about other reasons for people that are not girls or whatever. So number one thing I want to say is location. Location is everything. Go to a place where the cars are not going super, super fast, that the car is able to pull you over because a lot of people actually want to help you. They just don't want to get in a wreck while trying to help you. So go to a place that's safe for everyone. This seems obvious, but you guys, take a shower, put on some presentable clothes because appearance is so important. It's not necessary that you are an absolute just model to get a ride. No, there's people of all different types that get rides. But the thing is, is appearance is everything. And this is what all the drivers always tell me. It's just they are way more likely to pick up someone that is showered, that has, you know, that looks presentable rather than someone that looks like they just rolled out of bed. So just do that. And you know, it's better for everyone. And you know, I know we're all, a lot of us are long-term traveling. So sometimes it may be hard to get to a shower. I don't know what some people's cases are, maybe if they're camping, but you know, just find the shower, especially on days of hitchhiking. Um, when cars are going by, make eye contact with them. Take off the sunglasses and make eye contact and give them a smile. And just uh, because you know that, that first glance is all they really have. And a lot of people see your glance, they drive by and then they stop. So they just get that feeling by looking in your eyes. Um, a lot of times people have told me that they pick me up because I wear pink. So put on some bright colors and you know, something warm and welcoming like pink or yellow. Even for you guys out there, I tell you, I'm telling you that drivers have told me that people with, you know, those kind of colors on are more likely to be picked up because, you know, I don't know, it just sends off a different kind of message. Not to say that everyone in bright colors and beautiful colors are all good people, but you know, it will increase your chances a little bit. Um, also, if you get a chance to get some pink paper or, you know I like pink, pink paper, yellow or whatever, make a sign. And make a sign that's, you know, pretty and maybe put some decorations on it. And also if you're in Spain, for example, put hola or buenos dias or something on the sign. Just something, you know, to um, kind of have a connection to the driver, just, you know, the local language. Get excited, you know, get on the side of the road. You know, I'm not gonna probably pick up someone if they're on the side of the road like this. I mean, I don't know. But if someone's on the side of the road, you know, with their sign, they're, they're waving, they're smiling, they're having fun, they're more likely going to get picked up. So don't just stand there looking like you just lost your dog. Put a smile on your face. You're getting ready to just go do something new and have a new opportunity. So smile, put, you know, put some excitement into it. Give them a little dance, something, something small. I don't know. And also be creative. Just, um, I was traveling with a guy from South Africa and he had a sign that said, hit well, of course where he wanted to go, but free cookies. And so people were picking him up because of the free cookies. So I rode with, or when I hitchhiked with him and when we were in the car, we gave out the free cookies and everyone was happy and I got some free cookies too. So um, those are just some of the things. Just have fun with it. And you know, it can be a really, really great experience, but trust me, the smiling is really important. If you want people to pick you up, just smile, look presentable. You know, it's possible for anyone. So anyways, those are just some of my um, tips for getting picked up faster. Um, anyways, there'll be many more videos to come on hitchhiking safety and other things that you can do. Um, and just start planning your own hitchhiking trip because it is amazing. Um, I've just done around 170 cars over the last year or over the last, yeah, well, six months-ish. And it's been a lifetime, ex a life-changing experience. So anyways, there you have it. So there's some of the tips. And um, don't forget to find me on the nomadicdreamer.com, Facebook, Twitter, Google, whatever it may be. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.